Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial about creating curtain walls in Rhino. As you can see, we have already created a curtain wall panel in Rhino and uh, for creating these kinds of uh, curtain walls that uh, are called the storefront ones, uh, we go to another Rhino and uh, open a grasshopper viewport and then uh, in perspective viewport we start to draw a line with polyline and uh, draw one like this and we should bring this to grasshopper so I bring a curve component here right click on it and choose set one curve and click on your uh, baseline to bring it to grasshopper uh, after that I double click here and type extrude and I choose this one to extrude my curve and I connect the curve output to uh, the base curve of extrude and then we should uh, define the um, Z uh, unit for direction of our extrude uh, double click here and type Z and choose the unit Z uh, component and connect it to direction and then double click here type 0 0.01 double dots to for example 20 and then uh, connect it to the factor of Z units so for example this is our surface and then I bring a, a surface component okay now uh, we should subdivide our surface so double click here and type ISO trim or ISO and you can see the ISO trim component here uh, the other name of ISO trim component is subsurface or subsurf and then uh, connect your surface to the base of uh, this ISO trim surface value and then you should uh, you should define a domain for your surface so and then go to uh, domain menu and click on divide domain and then uh, connect your surface to the I and then you should define the value of your uh, division so double click here and type for example 10 and control C control V and type it to for example 30 as you can see we have uh, our surface divided by these numbers that we uh, define for our divine, uh, divide domain so if I increase or decrease this you can see uh, our division uh, change so for example this 10 and 10 is good and uh, the next move is to create our uh, frames for each of these panels that we have created here. So double click here and type, for example, uh, curve and connect this output to this curve. So as you can see, when you click on this curve component, all these edges are selected and now you can uh, just change them uh, just uh, transform them to uh, pipes which uh, would be our uh, frames double click here and type pipe and uh, define the radius of these pipes first so um, for example 0 0.01 double dot 0 0.03 That's it, and you have created your uh, storefront panels and uh, its frames. So this is uh, one way that you can create the storefront. The other uh, way is to use the launch box method. So I hide this by clicking on preview of, 
and then I go to uh, lunchbox panel and choose the quad panels and then I connect the output of uh, our surface to the surface uh, parameter of quad panels and then by default it's uh, set to 10 and 10 for U division and V division and I uh, leave it just uh, like that and then uh, we go to generate parameters we have in Launchbox and uh, click on panel frame and then uh, connect the panels to the panel parameter of panel frame and as you can see we have created our uh, our frames here and all of these are surfaces not mesh um, you can bring to output of um, surface based component like that control C control V and then uh, we connect frame to this surface and panel to this surface I click these two and click on preview off as you can see we have uh, frames and panels like that so after that uh, we can make uh, widths for this uh, surfaces we have here by using the offset surface component uh, which is in pufferfish plugin so I go to pufferfish plugin and go to uh, surface components and choose offset surface I bring it here and uh, then I double click here to uh, define the distance of the components of offset surface double click here and type 0 0.02 double dot 0.04 and make sure that it's for uh, both side offsets so I um, right click on uh, both and set boolean to true and I connect the output of the slider to this sense and I increase it to 0 0.03 and then I connect the output of surface to the surface parameter for the frames and I do the same for the uh, glass panels and as you can see we have created the panels and the glass panels the only thing left is to bake these parameters bake these to layer 2 and make it a group okay and bake these ones to layer 1 and group them so that's it as you can see we have created our glass panels using grasshopper and these kind of uh, curtain walls are called storefront ones and you can uh, change the value of uh, the frames widths and uh, either for glasses too so I hope you have enjoyed the video subscribe my channel and stay tuned for uh, further tutorials uh, let me know if you have any questions from this tutorial or other tutorials by uh, writing your question down below uh, the comment part. Uh, thank you for watching, stay tuned and have good days.